Alright, so. Without any warm up, I'm just gonna try and do the daily. Alright, so. Without any. We'll see how it goes. I just got back from Liam's, so. You already know I'm not on my A game right now, but. We're gonna run it. It's kinda just like a platformer. I don't know if you know anything about the game, but it's just like one of those super hard things. Just imagine I'm playing like a Kaizo or something like that. And we're gonna try and get like the front page of the leaderboard. I've been on a little bit of a rut lately, so it could end sooner than later. This is already a really bad start. I hate that spider. Let's check over here for money. But yeah, it's a mix of like collecting money, being able to like afford shops later on and just getting as far as you can. I care less about money and more about progression because that's like what these leaderboards are graded by. But try to do a little bit of a both. Let's go from underneath so I don't accidentally fall on those spikes. Everything in this game just tries to kill you in one hit, pretty much. Not necessarily, but it's just uh, one of those games. Kind of like Super Meat Boy in a sense, since you know a little bit about that. But it's a tough one. Like, this caveman could just, like, hit me, knock me off. I'll take three damage from that alone. So, I'll be one hit from death until I get health or something like that. And there's just a lot of cool mechanics put into it. Kind of just described everything I can. There are seven different worlds, eight different worlds, pretty much. There is four sections of each world as well and each section has like a different layout you can choose to like go to like different areas for like the second area and the third area the fourth area is forced and so is the fifth and this is a shop i want to get like everything in here this is actually a really good shop this bombs 12 bombs pace lets your uh, bomb stick to stuff and I need to get 10,000 for that bomb box so I don't have to rob the shop. So I need to like somehow just earn some money before I get back up there with it. I don't know why I threw that up there without wasting too much supplies to do it. it looks like I have to use two ropes which kind of sucks because there's a trick later in the game where I usually need uh, three ropes to do. But if I help this guy, there's going to be a shop that has ropes in the future. So I'm going to choose to help him this one because I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Bombs. It's the Morshi. Morshi is actually like a meme in this community just because of the ropes and bombs being like main resources. Oh, I gotta follow. One second. Thank you whoever that was. Oh, Jenny. Thank you. It's good to have both the Nastars in here watching me game it up. So I want to get 1500 total before I go back up to the shop. Oh jeez. Let's kill that. Those guys are moles. They're the most annoying enemies in the game. I might just ignore the ropes. I mean the pace right now though. And just go with the bombs. Or I could buy ropes and explore more. Um, let's do that actually. I'm gonna go fast for a little bit though because I'm running out of time. So one minute. Because I have to get a decent chunk of money before I go into the next floor. A ghost spawns at three minutes, that one shot kills you. So I don't feel like dealing with that. Yeah, it's a pretty popular game. On the daily, usually like 3,000 people do it a day. And that's not at all the most popular thing in this game. Just to like give an estimate of how many play, I guess. But I'll usually end up on like the front page with like top eight. It's pretty cool. I was actually like the rank one player for like two days based on a 10 day streak. So that was really cool. So I'm gonna go for the bomb box and kind of just dip out. Where did I leave the dog down there? And this, actually I'm gonna be able to get everything. I'm gonna put the dog in the exit. That's good, I got more money so I can do shit more safely. Don't even need to really break the ghost spot anymore now that I have enough money, but I have 10 seconds till the ghost spawns, so I'm gonna bring the ghost spot as high up as I can before it spawns, break it, 
finish buying out the shop and uh, progress. Yeah, it's a lot. You gotta keep in touch of so many things. So since I bought out the shop, I get a discount for the next shop. That's really good. So I pretty much just like maxed out this entire first floor to uh, set a good precedent for what I gotta do. I helped the guy Yang. <laughs> More bombs. Alright, so we can go on. We are safe for another level. But there's just like, it's pretty much just, uh, you can get killed by like a chain reaction of anything. Like it's a tough game. Yeah, it's a super fun game. Just pretend I'm playing Mario, except harder. That was a bad choice. I shouldn't have come down here. Um, eh, doesn't matter actually. So this is a trap. If I take that Tiki Idol, it's gonna trigger. So I'm gonna push this over a little bit, grab it, and go to the side. And it actually made a little platform to be down to uh, where I collect the Igidai. Which is the next part of uh, Easter Egg towards the, not an Easter Egg, but just like a way to get to the true ending. So I gotta grab this key, go in this door right here, and that takes me <laughs> to Dan chat room. <laughs> so that lets me see like gems behind walls, whatever, I don't want to go this way. These like gray tiger looking things, they are uh, arrow traps. Actually, I can go down here safely, but I don't want to. I actually need to go back up to the top, so I'm going to use another rope to do that. Actually, no. Nah. I'm going to come this way. Trigger the arrow trap, both of them, with a rope. So I don't get launched down by something. I might as well get the dog, too. Stonks. I can't get to my stonks, dude. My phone broke, and I need my phone number to... uh get back into my Robin Hood and stuff. I have like a hundred dollars just sitting in my coin base that I can't even do anything with. Alright, that's good enough. It's not really much else to do on this floor since I got the shop on 1-2. I got the Ujidai on 1-3 and that lets me progress towards the next section of the secret ending. Alright, this guy's gonna trigger if I get in his line of sight, and he's annoying to deal with, so I'm just not gonna do that. So take a skull, so I can throw it at this guy. He's gonna clear out the path towards Volcana, which is the area I want to go to. So I like my stonk sticker, yeah. <laughs> I do. Let's go through here. Oh, skeleton triggered. I had invincibility frames right there, though, so it didn't hit me. I just ran right through it. Otherwise, I probably would have gotten hurt by it. So this is a really good start to a run, actually. I'm digging this so far. I got a lot of health. I haven't taken a hit yet. I'm gonna get more health from this guy. And once I go through this door, we can enter the next area. Just gonna ignore these guys and go in. So this is Volcana. If you fall in lava, you just die. It's kind of like the spikes in the last area. And in here is the guy Van Horsing. He's not essential. Oh Jesus, that was a crazy jump. But you just have to like pay attention to stuff, like if I fucked up that jump, that bat could have knocked me into the lava, I just die. <laughs> and uh, yeah. So I want to go in here and bring the key back up to this room, which I might honestly just ignore. If it takes too much. Ah. I'm gonna use a bomb right there instead of using resources. I will actually have to use a rope though to get back up. It's a back layer shop. There's nothing good in it, so I'm gonna ignore that. I don't mind using ropes actually, since I do have that guy that I saved somewhere on the floor who's gonna sell me ropes now. So you go in here. There's another skeleton. Screw that dude. Hit that in case it wakes up. He gives you money, and he's also going to help you in uh, Vlad's castle, which I'm going to try to get to. Hmm. Seeing a bad layout. Oh shit, I missed that jump. So since I did that, I'm pretty much done on this floor, except for buying out this guy's shop. This is a really spooky cross trap, though. Ooh. 
I don't know why that triggered. Either way, I'm past it. But if you go under it, it uh, triggers. And a lot of times, if it's like off screen and I'm like trying to climb up with a rope or something, it might come down and just like crush my head. That's an insta kill. Yeah, this game is really fun. I've been playing way too much of it. Came out like three months ago, and I have like 500 hours. Nothing to cook these with. So since I bought it out, I also get his blessing. So more turkeys spawn on each floor. And if you blow up a turkey or if uh, you cook it with like fire or something, then it turns into cooked turkey. It heals your health. But I don't really need health anyway, so it's not worth bombing for right now. Alright. That is a garbage shop. Alright, so I go in here. And I'm going to be looking for a bow. That lets you get into like the end game thing. It's called the Cosmic Ocean. And the Cosmic Ocean is pretty much like what lets you uh, go to like 99 floors. And it's pretty much just like the main game except significantly harder. <laughs> I've played the game a ton and I've only beaten like the 99 floors one time. And I lost my shit. I actually have a YouTube video of me finishing it up and I like scream out the top of my lungs. It was nuts. I can link that to you if you want. It's just loud, so you need to turn it down. So, this finishes up once you uh, break your pickaxe and finish the challenge. I got the bow in time, so I can just take it out. I have to carry it with me till 3-1, uh, then I can store it. So I got two more floors that I just have to carry it, which is annoying, but it's fine. Since I want to carry this, I'm just going to cook these turkeys, because I have no more need for them. So now I'm at 11 HP. And what do I want to do? These dark levels are always scary. Ooh, that's an altar. So, can I get to the dog? No, that sucks. I wish I didn't cook the turkeys. Because if you sacrifice two dogs, or like eight enemies, you get a really strong item that heals you if you like run into blood. So I'm kind of just kind of trying like just sacrifice stuff in the area. Hopefully not kill it by accident like that. So that's two points. I need to tame this guy. Four points. So I need 16 points total to get the item. Ready for Ludo again soon? Sure. Uh, I'm going to be at my friends watching Attack on Titan tomorrow, but after that I should be free. So, I have 4 out of 16 points, so I do need to get a few more altars later on to get that item, but it's like essential if you want to get far in the game, because it's the only thing that like naturally hears your health. But, for now, I don't really want to risk staying here, because Vulcan is like one of the most obnoxious places. There are just so many ways to just die. So, let's get out. And this is the drill that goes to Vlad's castle. Since I got that Idget Eye in the first section, I'm able to pull it down. And it drills all the way down instead of having to bomb to it. So this is scary because there's either lava dripping or if you like, see those guys, they're gonna like jump out of the lava regardless, just like as you go. So I have to avoid that as I go down and kind of just get lucky on my drop. You can bomb down too, but that's a waste of resources. I don't like wasting resources, so I usually take the risk and just do it as fast as I can before anything can fall on my head. My voice is super solid. Thank you, Joshua. I've been trying a lot more ever since I realized I was a gamer. And it, it's mostly like friends from the game jumping in, but like, Sometimes I'll get more people, which is really fun. But I mostly just do it just to document my daily challenges. And just have more fun with the game. Yeah, so I'm trying to pay attention. This is still kind of dripping, so it's a little scary. Actually, not. it's done dripping. So I just need to avoid the magmars that are going to fall down and knock me out. So I just got to get down ASAP before something goes wrong. And I made it, thank god. So, this is Vlad's castle. I didn't help Van Horsing last war, so he's not going to be there to help me. 
So either I can whip him and try to get him to like teleport into a wall, which is not that hard of a strategy, or I can just shoot him and kill him in one hit with this bow, because if you shoot him with the silver arrow, which this bow does have, mm. then it also kills him in one hit. So again, I'm just going to take it to the top with me and do that. This is pretty safe section. Like all vampires die in one hit if you just shoot it. Or if you just whip it and toss him into the spike bit down below. That works too. Like, I'm just gonna do that with this guy, for example. He's just gonna fall into the spikes and die. And trigger this arrow trap. That automatically triggered that one. So I'm gonna collect this stuff. I don't wanna open the crates because this is the ghost spot I was talking about. If you break it, it automatically triggers the ghost. And if that, if I open a chest with a bomb in it, silver bow like the like, <laughs> link to the past. Pretty much, the bow gets cooler later on once I get the golden arrow in the last section. Oh my god, this is dirty. I'm gonna pull these. Because if these guys fall on my head and I get knocked out, I can just fall into the spike pit below, which is a big no. And I don't want to accidentally... Oh wait, I did help Van Horsing, never mind. So he's going to shoot it when he comes down. Ah, uh, this hit stun is killing me. Come on, I just want to pick up the cape. So this cape lets you double jump and glide, kind of like the cape I just had, except it's way better. Alright, nothing's going to fall on my head, so we are good to go. We have a really good mobility item now. Which you get from going Volcana only. That's usually why I take the Volcana path instead of the jungle path that you can take. Where you get a black market that has like a ton of items in it. And you can get a jetpack, which is just as good for different reasons. I don't like the jetpack because if something... The Cushion Cali is not as dank as the Cushion at home. You were talking big game about it before. Well, I still have a shitload of mine if you want some of that when you get back. Don't forget. The Mama Classic. The Jungle Path. Yeah, I didn't take the Jungle Path. I can show you the Jungle Path in a run after this, but if I get a really good run... Like, my longest run ever when I got to 99 was three and a half hours. Which is super difficult, because you have to play the game perfectly for three and a half hours and not take something that'll one-hit you. But, that's probably my biggest accomplishment in gaming, like, ever. Like, I'm super proud of that shit. It's tough. Like, um, you know, uh, Grand Pooh Bear, right? The Kaisel player? Like, totally, right? This is a bad site. This is a super rare level, but it's a pain in the ass. Okay, I didn't trigger him. That's a robot. If I jump on his head, he'll go a certain distance and just blow up. If he goes on the bottom of like a lava pit, then all the lava's gonna fall down to the layer below. And then you gotta deal with that. I'm actually gonna blow up this one though, see if he can... Oh shit. Destroy some of the path and make my life easier. That's exactly what happened. Cool. So I just need to avoid having one of these things fall in my head. But yeah. He played the shit out of the game. He got 99. And he's like a god Kaisel player. And he says it's his greatest accomplishment he's ever done in video games. So. And he's unreal. So. Uh, it's just something that means a lot to me. It means I'm a god. Yeah, I'm gonna ignore the turkeys now. I don't need them for anything. My health is good. My mama good. Some tire of the grid or my health good. That was on the West Side Gun song, right? My health good, my mama good. Alright, so this is the second boss after that guy on 1 4. This is the final boss in the original Spelunky HD game. But he's kind of just like a midway through sort of boss in this one. My health good, my mama good.
So I'm probably going to be more quiet going through this because this one's a little tricky. Like it's the same thing every single time once you get it down. But it's just another boss that kills you on one hit. My resource is good. I'm going to have enough stuff to do all the tricks that I need to do for like a perfect run. So this is actually a really solid run assuming I don't die in some way. And stage one is just get him down to the section. Oh yeah, and you saw me put the bow in that guy, Wadler. He carries it for you. So I'm just gonna have him carry it to like the last stage. So I can uh, get to the cosmic ocean I was talking about. Our style is very good. Yes, it's so good, dude. I love it. It's a huge upgrade from the first game as well. The first game was like a game I played way too much when I was like in middle school. And they announced this, and I was like, wow. It's about time. Super happy about it. That's why I played it so much. So our three, he shoots out aliens in the side. I bring him to the side because he shoots him out of uh, both sides. But if he's against the wall, one blows up immediately, so you don't have to worry about it. And I just jump on the right side of that one. So uh, he bounces into it, goes down to the next area. And that's just the quickest, most efficient way to do this phase. And he's dead. And the reason... So each layer, there's like a different stage that you can go to. Like the top one is Tide Pool, that's the path I take, so I can get an item that clones uh, any items in the game. I take it to the last section too, because it drops uh, in the last section. There's a mini challenge that you do to get that arrow light that I was also talking about. And uh, you also get a item bag that has 24 bombs and 24 ropes in it and if I take the clone gun to that I can have 99 bombs and 99 ropes assuming I have some extras and for me personally if I want to get to 99 I need all that or most of it so it's a huge grab for me so I usually go the tide pool path instead of the temple path plus the temple path is pretty bad. There's really no benefits to it. Aside from something called the alien compass that shows you the exit in the last area, but if you're able to scout it out then you don't really need it. I get more benefit from um, the clone gun instead. Alright, so let me just double check that the bow's in here. It is. So we are good to go, I guess. Check Discord. Sorry, I have it like tabbed out. Let me exit this level real quick first. Scored. Did you buy that? <laughs> oh my fucking god. Je At least it's Jenny's. <laughs> if that was Josh's, I'd fucking hate you. So what am I saying? You don't even watch Naruto. Jenny doesn't even watch Naruto. She hasn't even finished OG. You gotta get to Shibuden now. So this is Tide Pool. It's the next area. It's honestly a lot more tame than Volcana and much more tame than, um... How do I get down? Oh. Much more tame than Temple. Temple's a really hard section, so I just kind of avoid it at all costs. So, this is Tusk. You get, like, five items from gambling from her. It's all random, but it's, like, seeded if you're doing the daily challenge. Ooh, this is Climbing Gloves, so I can climb up walls. Super good item for me. A lot of people don't like it, but I do. It's good with uh, the cape item I'm using, so I can like climb up stuff and use less ropes. She loves Naruto, she's got to finish OG and start Shippuden. It's a machete, that's not a good item. Okay, pickaxe, I don't want that. Just gonna leave that to the side. Oh yeah, the reason I'm whipping the dice is because it makes it a uh, 1 or a 6. Oh my god, bomb box. That's awesome. So I can do the onk skip and everything. <laughs> I love gambling. Yeah, you like stocks too, same thing. So, that's all I need to do for 4-1 this level. So, I'm just good to go. My only issue is that I haven't seen any altars lately, so I don't have that item, the Kapala, that I was also talking about earlier. 
I need to do more sacrifices so I can get it because it's a really strong item. But from buying out the entire whole gambling for all the items in the Tush Shop. Oh, this is bad. Alright, that was taken care of really well. I'm gonna crush him. I guess I'm just gonna wait for this guy to wake up so I can kill him. This is where you get the clone gun. You see this lady again. She's like a merchant that goes like all throughout and like helps you with uh She's just a good gal. Gives you a lot of special items. That help you progress uh the secret ending and just help you succeed. Also has that like secret shop that was in the background of the dwelling on the first stage. Oh, that's not good. I don't know why I did that. There goes half my health. Yeah, and you can just get stunlocked by shit like that. I only have four health, but I'm not gonna sweat it, I guess. Just don't do something stupid again. Oh man, I'm doing this way too slow. There we go. Alright, so now I really want that item so I can get my health back. <laughs> Jeez, that was horrible. It's like supposed to be a spot where you don't take damage to. Like that was disgusting. But naturally I'll fuck it up. These guys suck. They're on the ceiling, they can be on the ground, they just have really awkward hops that ruin your life. I might cook these turkeys actually, just so I can Gotta make sure I don't crush it. Just so I can uh, bomb them for HP. Kinda like a safety thing. Cause I don't feel like dying in some stupid way. Alright. And when you take damage, there's also hit stun, so if these guys hit you about spikes, you're pretty much dead because you can't move for like half a second so you're just gonna fall straight into the spikes that sucks so I'm gonna avoid that I'm thinking how do I want to do this part I'm just not gonna mess with this big lobster dude because I don't have spike shoes to take care of him so he's incredibly hard to kill if I don't want to use bombs, which I don't want to use really. So, run by him. Yeah, this is the nicest looking area in the game. In, uh, in the Cosmic Ocean area, it's also one of the easiest. That's not cool. What? I am going to bomb that. Fuck that. Oh, my bombs. Shit. Alright, so I want to kill this fish so I can get the hired help in there so he can hold one of my items. Which is an obnoxious mechanic, but it's pretty important for a good run. Or I can ignore him and do the next stage without the sword since I have bombs, but I don't really want to do that because I have low health. It's like a double-edged sword pretty much. Is there a way I can kill it without... Yeah, actually. Come over here. So I'm gonna bait it right here, I guess. Hopefully it doesn't go above it, because then I take two free damage. So this guy takes four hits. That was a perfect bait. Pitcher's mid. That's actually a good item since I have the pace. It makes you throw in like a direct line. Alright, so hopefully this guy doesn't try to kill the big lobster dude. He didn't. That's good. So here's the hard part. I have to find a place to put this guy. I don't know how I didn't take poison right there, but that's fine. I'm very happy with that. Oh, I thought he died somehow. I was going to lose my shit, bro. <laughs> Is he dead? What the fuck are you doing? I guess he just chucked a rock at me. That's good. 
These guys are dumb as fuck. Pretty much bricks, like you. This would be a perfect spot to put him, but he's gonna be a retard. Maybe he'll get trapped right. He's a dumbass. Okay, he's dead. Now I have to deal without him. I was trying to get him trapped behind that, so he'd be stuck, and not find a way to kill himself, but he found a way to kill himself anyway, <laughs> by trying to chase me. <laughs> but it's fine, since I had bombs. Instead of using Excalibur, you can use 10 bombs to uh, break the shell of the boss that I'm going to fight soon. Which honestly works fine. It's just that I have to whip him to death and it takes like 100 whips while enemies are trying to kill me. Which is a lot more difficult with 6 health. Alright, so now I have to do the honk save, which is one of the cooler tricks in this game. Assuming I get it right and not look like a dumbass. And it's going to be tough because I have no good way of setting it up. Shit. Never mind, that works. Alright, so now I just need to pretty much blow up this section because it's going to flood with lava. And if I want the lava level to be not kill me level, then... Sec. It's just a pain in the ass to set up. If I want the lava levels to not be high enough to just drown me in lava, I need to blow up the platform here. So I throw this rope, I throw this rope, I whip this, I hide under here. This is supposed to kill you, but people found out a way to get out without losing your Ankh. That Ankh item I have gives you an extra life, pretty much. Also, the ghost is spawning in like five seconds. This is... I just died anyway. Fuck me. That was so bad. Normally I'm supposed to double jump and grab that rope, but I somehow fucked that up after setting it up, so. Now I have to go down and get the gun. Pick it up and go through the exit that opened up. So now I have four health instead of two. This is even worse than I already was. Where's the ghost? That was fucking so bad. <laughs> that was so bad, dude. Man, I wish I had that Kapala item. Because I'm a troll. I've done that truck a million billion times also. That's actually so fucking embarrassing. Alright, so I have to fight this guy. You see, he kind of just throws thing at you, but... Instead of using the sword, I can throw ten bombs on his back and just whip him to death. But now I have to deal with this a lot longer. I have four health to do it with. So I have to juke all this and hit him like 150 times. That's really bad that I lost my Ankh. I usually take it to Cosmic Ocean, so I have two lives in there because that's the actual hard part of the game, but... As long as I get there, I'll be happy. Just a little upset about it. There's one hit. If I take one more, I'm probably going to try to kill him with the rest of my bombs. I'm just save two for the last section. Because you need two bombs to make the the item bag challenge a lot easier. Oops. Okay, we're good. Because you're able to blow up a spawner in the corner and then the floor underneath. Yeah. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, it's kind of hard to explain. Also, I'm in the middle of this fight, so I can't even explain it well. I'm trying not to take damage. Oh, 
only took one hit, that's pretty good. So, since I did all the things leading up to that, I get this Tablet of Destiny for fighting this boss, which is a uh, tall servant of gold marked by the snake. So in the area 6, that's a like totem thing that you're supposed to be looking for, which gives you a mount, which lets you ride up to the area 7. And then if you have the bow in area 7, it lets you get to the final cosmic ocean area after uh, beating the final boss and shooting it into its eye. Hopefully I'll be able to show you that, but things are not looking amazing right now without the health item. This is the ice caves. There's just a lot of UFOs that blow up and can kill you in one hit naturally. So, a lot of times I'll take it slow. I thought that might kill me. If that landed on the platform, I would have been dead. I gotta play safer. So Waddler is also here, the guy that stores your items. So I want to put the clone gun in him so I can take the clone gun to the last area now. Because he spawns one more time in um, there. And this is one of the platforms that he spawns under. Like one of the generated things. I kind of just have him memorized at this point. So you blow that up, unlock his shop, and you can put him in. We'll put the clone gun in. So that's set. And in here, actually I should get another landmine, are two bosses. One drops a compass, one drops a spike shoes, which lets you jump on enemies, and you do three damage instead of one. All right, that could... I had to make that penguin move first, so I didn't pick him up instead of the landmine, because if you step on it, it just blows up, and if I wasn't paying attention, I'd get blown up. I might just do the first one to be safe. Oh, shit. If you land on the side of those guys, he just picks you up and throws you. And it'd probably throw me into something bad. That's an easy way to kill the queen. Now oh, spike shoes. And I'm just going to ignore the second boss and leave because I don't really want to fight him. So now my clone gun's away. And I have the spike shoes, so I am honestly happy to leave this area before something happens. And then I am in honestly the hardest part of the game. Turkey and a dog. I'm gonna blow up the turkey and put the dog away. These UFOs are not cool. I'm gonna do it next floor. Alright, so this part's pretty tough. It's Neo Babylon, it's the last section before the main final boss, but I'm trying to get the secret final boss, the hard mode one. So I'm gonna clear it and skip past that final boss with a trick that'll hopefully be able to show you if I beat this place. Which I usually do. Oh, I got a compass anyway from that grade, so I don't even need to go to that last level's boss. But there's just a lot of stuff that lives to fuck you up. Oh, I miss the UFO. Alright, I'm gonna blow that up. Blow up the platform so it doesn't bother me. That's a good item. And I don't want to go through these UFOs, so I'm just going to blow that up as well. As long as I have two bombs going into the final section, I'll be good. Because that's all I need for the trick on the secret thing. So since I don't have the Kapala at this point, and I really want it, I have to do a kind of difficult area where I like... If you remember that Lady Tusk, I have to go to her. She invited you to her like feast thing in this area, which is on 6-3. But there's an altar in there. I have to murder all the guards in there, which try to murder you with shotguns. And sacrifice all those guards. And I can also just get it that way. It's pretty dangerous, but 
I don't really have a choice. Alright, I'm afraid of this spark trap hitting that guy. Yep, that's exactly what happened. Because those spark traps a lot of times just hit those like little red dudes. They launch into you. You got knocked out. You got knocked under an elevator. You die. It's a pretty common death in this area, so you just have to look out for things like that. So I'm looking for a tall servant of gold marked by the snake. So it's one of these guys tall. It looks like the one to the left of me, except there's a snake on his chest. So this part's scary as fuck. A lot of elevators that can just crush you. So, gotta be careful. My strategy is just grab the ledge of each one so I don't get crushed. So this part's scary, so just give me a minute. Tall gold snake. It's a cracked gold snake. That's a tall gold ankh. Safe to cross over. Alright, tall gold snake. So I'm gonna take this with me and I have to go back through this entire hell section again. There's no enemies, but that's not what's trying to kill you. It's the elevators that want to kill you. Alright, I'm gonna wait for... actually, fuck it, let's do that. And I need to go back through the same entrance that I came from. I kind of don't remember where it is. It's down there. There's no elevator right there, right? Yeah, no. Alright, got it out. So now I just need to finish the level with this in my hand. And the next level will turn into Chilin, which is the mount that I mentioned earlier that lets you uh, climb to the next section. This is weird. I'm afraid of that elevator. Okay, it's a good time to go. This is bad. I'm gonna wait for this guy to go on the right side so no bodies fly into me. And knock me in a lava. <sighs> okay. There's a lot of spark traps over here. Alright, I got it through. So now I got this cool dude. There are two UFOs over here that are going to which are right above the area that I want to be in. Alright, they're stacked on each other. That's not good. Because if one bounces into another, you have no idea where the fucking next one's gonna land. Yeah, this is really bad. I'm just gonna bomb this, waste another bomb. Get this dude out of here. Alright, now they're split, so I can kind of hit it safely. taken care of. Alright, so unfortunately I didn't get that Ankh I was talking, I mean, uh, Kapal I was talking about. So, can go in here. Grab that. Thank you for following. Oh, hi, hi, F. I heard you lost Ankh. Following. Oh, hi, hi, F. Shut up, man. I've messed up my Ankh So, I don't have Kapala. So, I need to get these guys mad. I kind of just force them to kill each other. He's crushed. Now they're going to start shooting each other to death. I kind of just keep running in out of the door. Well, they do their job for me. Then I can finally show you that Kapala thing I was talking about. It's so strong. Once uh, a lot of them kill each other, I can grab a shotgun and start doing the job myself a little bit. In the meantime, we just do this. I have my boy Chilin, the mount, in a safe spot because there is uh, two of these guys on the outer layer as well that kind of just run around the level. A lot of times they just get crushed or killed, but if they get to Chilin, they'll shoot them. 
and I do not want that. That's a shotgun. Probably should get a shot to the left, but I want to wait a little bit longer. Because I have plenty of time. And if I shoot uh, the gun, there's like a little bit of recoil, so I won't be on top of the door anymore. I think I'm safe to kill it. Uh, one on the right side. I heard one die. This might be the last one. No. Two. Two on the left side to turn around. Yeah. But, F, I kind of threw this daily. So I'm just trying to get to CO so I can show my friend. Maybe just run through it as quick as I can. I don't really want to play through it daily tonight with Ankh anyway. I mean, without Ankh anyway. And they're taking their sweet time. Is it? I'll probably go slow for a little bit, see if I can get a leaderboard spot. Because my last few days have been doo doo. Last 6 3, I got soft locked by uh, Infinite Laser. I didn't realize I wasn't welcome to Tusk. Because you couldn't find the door, that sucks. But I blew up a platform and I accidentally sent the laser like sky high. And I didn't have a bomb to uh, blow it up, so I couldn't get around it. So I just had to wait for the ghost to kill me. It was bad. I think that's it. Yeah, it is. Actually, why am I not just whipping them? So I'm gonna bring all the bodies over here. Uh, I only have two bombs left, actually. I need to do them one by one. Actually, fuck it. I don't care. I'm the slowest player in the world. <laughs> Alright, that's that. We got 30 seconds to get through the level though, so now I just need to get chillin' and get out. I take pride in it. I'm slow. Oh, oops. Hopefully not too slow to get through this floor though. This might be bad. Nah, it's fine. Where's the platform? There it is. No, definitely not too slow. Straight shoot from the left side. I love to see it. I only have one bomb left for the sun challenge though. I'm just gonna stick the spawner in the corner. Hope it works out for me. So, this is the thing I was talking about, Josh. Here's the boss that would be the final boss. You just have to kill her. But since I have this dude, I can fly up. There are a lot of tricks to do it without this dude, but I'm not good at doing it with the cape item I have. So I don't bother. I only really do it when I have the jetpack. So do that. And then you're at the top, wait for this. And that's how you get to area 7. Gonna whip him a little bit to get health from him. Run it down and take the rocket, and you're at stage seven. This is not a super difficult area, which is a good thing, but there's just that one challenge I was talking about that can kill you if you mess it up. And me only having one bomb makes it a little more difficult, but I should be fine. No, it's right here, good. So I do this, go in. You got a countdown from three. Then you just have to survive for 30 seconds. That's a good guy in the corner. So bomb that. And I got one of the worst possible dudes. I might be dead. I hope not. Just knock him down. Nah, it's fine. 
Okay, we're good. Unless this vampire's got something to say. I like rope in the center between the lasers. The old strat. I've always been afraid to do that one. So now I need to find the the guy who I put all my items in, so I can use this arrow with the bow and bring it to the final boss. Is Waddler far off? No, he's not. I'm gonna put this here. Get the clone gun. We we'll go back down. I've gotten pretty consistent with uh, the corner strat. I can't remember the last time I've died actually doing it properly. So I just stick with that. I need to learn the center strat for when I don't have bombs though, but that's usually never. Uh, well, do. Yeah, I actually should sack the dog since I'm pretty low HP. Just gonna get my shit together first. I don't know, I'm not trying to like min-max at this point, I'm not super <laughs> motivated since I lost Donk. Oh yeah, that's super free. So if you sacrifice 8 points, which is like a dog or like 4 living enemies, you, instead of uh, an item or the Kapala, you get a jelly that heals uh, 6 HP and cures poison, which can be really good if you're in a spot like I am. But I don't really care. So did it because it was free. Alright, so now we are at 7-2. So, kind of a life. Actually, I should just take CO seriously. I haven't gotten, um... I haven't been able to dupe the item bag in a few runs. I do have a lot of resources. Oh, this is annoying. <laughs> Serious? This kind of scares me because I don't want this to trigger from the egg sack. Oh, how about I go up there? <laughs> okay. And just land on me, but that's all that. There's a lot of dwelling, ice caves, and type. I kind of hate dwelling. <laughs> dwelling, see, I, I always just annoys me. I don't like triggering arrow traps at all for some reason, so I bomb a lot of them. But I can usually afford to, which is why I do it. Because I hate. Oh, yeah. Pay attention. Let's find the dog now. <laughs> that was so stupid. Saw the cave, man. Yeah, true. I guess that was in 7 4. Jesus Christ. So, yeah, Josh, when you're poisoned in this game, you need to uh, find a dog and take it to the next level, and it cures your poison. But once you get to 7 4, there are no more dogs, so if you get poisoned, you're pretty much just running until you die. Where's the dog? The 
There he is. So we are not going to stay poisoned. Because we found the good boy. Alright, so this is the last level of the game coming up. If you're not a real gamer. You fight a boss, you're probably not going to see it. Because I'm trying to go fast. But you'll see it once it gets to the top. It kind of just chases you through the level. Actually, I can look down. This big egg dude. His two heads sprout out of it. And, uh, you gotta fight him. The only thing I like about this run F is that it's the first time I got to CO in two days after, like, a 12 day CO streak. So I'm a little salty. It's been a rough couple for me. Especially after that soft lock, I was so mad. And yeah, I do baby strats off. I just bump to the top, palm ahead, jump on the other. Because I'm the world's slowest gamer. Yeah, I have two. I had that, um... I had that 72, and then I got like a... 58 the next day and then I got like a 5 and like an 8 <laughs> and then I just failed the last two days it's been gross so same there he is so you can see him in his true form now once I hop down so the heads take turns shooting fireballs at you I'll wait for this water to move first Easiest strat you can do really is pull him into the corner, drop three bombs. Oh, why did he move? Now I have to wait for him to get back. Um, it's no good reason for me to do. It. It's just what I'm used to, and it feels safe to me. Plus, I don't play for time at all, so I just do what feels safe. All right, that's final boss made it look easier at it. I think it took me like four times of getting all the way here and failing to him before I finally beat him the first time, but now I have it down. So after all those steps that I went through, bringing the bow all the way here, you go to Cosmic Ocean, which is the area that it's just like a different mishmash of all the places I've been through, but like kind of like a different way to beat the levels. And it goes all the way to 99. And I've only ever beaten it once, and it took me like three and a half hours. So, I'm gonna mark the exit with this. Pretty much what you have to do is go through the level and collect three orbs. One of them's right there. You have to break them all and make it all the way back to this entrance while the jelly's chasing you, kind of like a ghost does. If the jelly gets you, it just kills you. So gotta be careful of that. Anything hits you off the void, off a platform, knocks you into it, you're pretty much dead as well because you're gonna take fall damage. So I gotta watch out for that arrow that's falling. Take care of it eventually. It'll probably take care of itself though. A lot of dudes. A lot different. How do I want to do this? It's very different level generation as well, so you're going to see a lot of things that you're not super familiar with if you haven't done a lot. It's kind of just like relearning the game again once you get here the first time. So, the exit's on the right void, so I want to clear the right void of like arrow traps and stuff like that. Falling stuff, like this arrow. It's actually a really, oh my god, bad arrow. I'm going to take my time and wait because I have a minute and a half. After three minutes, instead of a ghost, another jellyfish spawns. So you're going to have two jellyfish trying to get you instead of one. It's pretty bad. That's just in the same spot. It's probably triggered. I don't want to cross over that, so I'm going to try and get this last orb 
then come to the right side and fall so I don't even have a chance of that arrow hitting me. I'll show you like how the void works after this one but I just don't want to mess with that arrow. So once I hit this, Jelly starts chasing me. I'll wait for him to catch up a little bit so you can see how he moves. Kind of dashes towards you like that. Then I want to fall down. Go to where the exit is. This is not the exit. Oh, that's just me triggering our drive with that rope. This is the exit down here. And you can go through. Hold the mole. Yeah, I know, I forgot. I'm still trying to explain shit. What's up, monkey? How are you? I'm winning. I already lost Donk earlier, though. Because I'm a dummy. So, this is Sunken City. This is the last area that I was kind of just playing through. Have an un... what? <laughs> playing Among Us with... I'm jealous of you. I haven't played in so long. I've been trying to get people together to do that. I miss Among Us. It's been forever. So the last two orbs are in top right, so I'm going to leave those for now while I try to find the exit. Trigger some traps. And the way I like to do it is go through each layer starting from the top. Oh, I can show you how void works. Alright. Exit's left side, so I just need to remember that. Make a mental note so I can go back and do it after. No arrow traps. But pretty much... Ooh, get out of my way. Yeah, it's bottom mill. You can just fall forever. It's just an infinite loop of the level. I'm gonna go back to the top. It works the same way, like horizontally. So, I'm gonna come over here. Get rid of this guy, because I don't want him. Get rid of that jerk. Cross over. And now you're at the left side. You're at the top left. Working my way to the top right again. So, if you like get how those patterns work, you can do stuff like this. So, I these are at the top right the exits on the left side in the middle so I'm gonna break these two bait the jelly it's gonna come from over here and I want to go to the left side the easiest way to get there is just cross through that void and go in a whole lot of that stuff so it's pretty much just the main game except a lot more difficult and kind of just like an endurance run because it's so damn long I'll get as far as I can for a leaderboard score but I'm not really feeling playing tonight. Snorp down there. I killed this dude. I really want those maggots dead. So I don't have a fly on the exit. This level's exit bottom left middle ish. How do you remember that? Oh, wait, yeah, you don't have a long run. So I'm a baby again, so I'm going to set a mark for the exit. So I'm going to set that so I know to go in there, go a little up to the right for when I'm ready to dash out of the exit. I mean dash to the exit after breaking all the orbs. This is triggered so I can just go. So I'll start scouting for orbs from the bottom now since I'm already here, just to be efficient for time. Then I'll go to top layer, start from top layer, look for more orbs. Don't run into that arrow trap. Take a hit. So nothing I really see, so I'll go down two layers because I haven't been able to check over there. Kind of do the same thing, look under. Like repeat while avoiding my death. Hopefully get far, but not too far. Oh, that was the last one, so now I'm just going to wait for him to come, then go for exit. Came from the right side, so I'm just going to do that. Remember where I put that, go to the exit. Just repeat. Now we got another ice level. I want to get jungle or uh, temple, so I can show you like the route I didn't go to. See what those levels are like. But you said there weren't a lot, right, F? Right side, 
So I can just break these two since I know where the exit is and just move on. That alien's gonna shoot a thing at me. Probably not a big deal though. <laughs> Only made it to 16. It's honestly all I plan on doing. Here's a Neobab. This is my least favorite. But you already seen that. You freak me out. Even worse when you're in the Cosmic Ocean levels too. Try to get off the top layer as soon as possible so I don't get crushed by an elevator. There's a temple, good. Never thought I'd say that, but good. Oh, that's not a good UFO. I heard it broke. All right, so that's done. Just drift down to void. Go, go, go. In. Two. I start trying to play fast. Get poison, maybe. Backwards, lowercase h. For the records. So I have two, so I'll just start scouting for exit and third. Rut row. Seven eleven. Oh nice, perfect. Maybe I'll eat a cat and an alligator or something for a full temple experience. Go out in the bang. Dumb. You're next. a long pipe. That's what she said, am I right? What is this? So let's break that so I don't get fucked trying to climb up. I want you dead. And we can work with that. Wait, how did I come from there? I'm losing my mind. Okay. Pray for no arrow traps because I couldn't be bothered to check. Good. That's not good. Alright, temple. Nice. Here's the worst level in the game. Not my least favorite, though, but probably the worst. These snakes poison you. These alligators trigger. They get mad, so... Let's trigger him. Cause why the fuck not? Why wouldn't I? These cats curse you, put you to one health. But we can go ahead and not talk to that dude. One, two. I have a tide pool, so. Wrong spot to do that. Uh, those spikes freaked me out. I didn't see him when I did that shit. Oops. Big moose.
to. Let's hide, that's a lot of booms. On 13, oh! <laughs> Here it is. Alright, let's find the exit first then. Yeah! Yeah, I see why you want, just went for it the Bottom left. That was your jetpack too, right? I saw that gif. That was so sad. Right side. You couldn't find that exit? Oh yeah, you didn't have a jetpack to find it, never mind. It's more respectable. Might just fall into the jelly for the meme. Wait, am I on the wrong side? <laughs> Shit. <laughs> what am I doing? Okay. Yeah, I was like right on the right side. That sucks. I'll take you to the places you've never seen before, F. Call it a date, me and you. Good. Man, what am I doing? Back whip it? Back whip. Back whip. Front whip? Finally. Daily CO, the intel. Died on 16. Wait, you made it to 16? Now I'm confused. So you did find the exit? If you want intel, you can watch the VOD, Landy. That was three. Okay. I heard it from right side. Maybe. It's a small level anyway. Shouldn't be that hard. Top left. Exact opposite. Last song. Then died on 16. Gotcha. So you just ran down the middle till you could find it with no back item. That's so scary. Where am I going? It's ice caves. Left side. It's a little off, so I'll just put that as a marker, why not? Oh, there, there it goes. Thank you for the follow, I don't have you on my screen. Check it out. After. Let's gamble the UFO. Thank you, Landy, you legend. A pleasure to have you, and yada bing. Absolute legends in my stream today. Maybe I can retire soon. Oh, alligator. Maybe I can retire from this run soon once it pops me. Oh, that was almost an ending right there with that sorceress. I am just gonna ignore top layer actually. There's too much stuff up there. I think I caught it. Yada bing. Thank you, yada bing. This is horrible. I should have just left. Yeah, this run's over. This run's not over. This is the pitchers, man. I almost didn't take it.
Just want to double check in case I miss somebody again. Landy. Thank you, Landy. Thank you, Yada Bing. Of course, thank you, F. That's everybody. Thank you so much, guys. Got there from bottom right. Oh, look at this sneaky orb. In we go. Got a jungle. I think my friend Josh is gone though, so he can't see it. The missing piece. This is looking like left side, right? I bomb the ceiling just so I don't mess up this jump. Bomb the one part. <laughs> Missed the one part that I want to bomb. Yeah, left side. Cool. There he goes. Goodbye, caveman. Hope you find your footing. I'm playing so sloppy. <laughs> this needs to end. Risk it all with this game, man. He's still here? No. Good. I should check the other side, but. There's a boomerang. I didn't expect that. I should have checked before I crossed. Must be bottom layer somewhere. Right? No? Do I just suck at scouting? No, exact opposite. Man. Can I just stop going into the void without checking? I'm predicting you die. Yeah, I'm gonna die from fall damage. I keep just jumping into the void without checking for some reason. I'm sleepy. I got back from a friend's right before doing this run. I kinda just went into it without a warm up. Let's break the ceiling. I did that because that's probably the best way in. Lethal fall damage from a spark trap. That's my bet. I'm gonna die on a Neo Babylon. Should just do that. People really hate Neobab, but... <laughs> yeah, I'm the opposite. Neobab's my least favorite. I'm also just not super mindful of... Ah. Uh, 
flaming all mites like you are, probably. Since you are a jetpack guy. So they don't affect me like nearly the same as they affect you. Yeah, temple is just like death. Sometimes you just get that alligator in the void like three seconds into starting the level because of a snake. Yeah, that's just not cool. But it happens so often. Yeah, Landy, I think I remember you saying in chat one day, <laughs> you, you died on 7, it might have been somebody else, but were you the one that died on 7-5 because you forgot to uh, pause? Because that's an annoying way to go. Yes, probably me. Yeah, I don't remember the name or anything like that. I just remember seeing the comment and laughing to myself. I'm just going to try not to worry about these egg sacks. Just coming from right side and I doubt I'll be bothered. I think we can bomb an arrow trap since we're so good on bombs right now. of Lad's cape, dude. It's the way. Right side. Almost forgot. Where my profile picture come from? It's a uh, band I like, Streetlight Manifesto. It's uh, from one of their music videos. Just like a whole ton of animals playing, destroying a city. You got like a giraffe, a penguin, lion. And I really like the art style, so I like giraffes. So I'm at my profile picture, and it's my profile picture on like everything. Yeah, you like Streetlight? They're my favorite band. I've seen them like ten times. It's from the Would You Be Impressed music video. It's my background. Well, not that, but it's the animals. This is my background too. It's a nice drawing of it. Really fun band. I think they're making their first album in like nine years. It's supposed to come out this year. Plus the singer Tom, uh, Tom Kalnicky. He looks pretty much just like Tom Brady. I'm from Boston, so. A fan of that, too. Oh, that's gone. Oh, it's a super small level. Ooh! <laughs> That was a funny angle, holy shit. What blew that up though? Like, it kinda just went vertical. Wait, is there just like an infinite platform on both sides? No. <gasps> okay, give me a sec, holy crap. <laughs> I'm lucky. Alright, 
it's two and three. Guys are really bad, almost getting crushed. Yeah, Lamasus are so huge, especially when you're poison. It's the easiest thing to farm, aside from the big lobster guys on this floor, speaking of. Let's kill our first one this run, get some health. The crabs they drop are unreal. Is that last? Oh, I thought that was exit right below me, oops. Left side? Yeah. Oh. It's doable. Yeah, you don't see health like this with your jetpack runs, do you, F? Those guys take two? Yeah, I just did one because I think I was going to miss the next angle. No. Hate running into a mummy after that, after making fun. Oh. How many times am I gonna like be on the brink of getting killed or poisoned? No, no, no. I was just let her shoot the fucking alligator. Let's get out of here now. Still kill them with the jetpack. Yeah, you still do get a lot of health. I shouldn't be saying it like that. Oopsie. Here. It's just a straight run through, I hope it is. Because I don't know where exit is. I'm gonna get killed by an alligator. Did I get poisoned? Oh no. Did I almost get poisoned? Just more worried about my life and all the mobs. Filthy. Yeah, maybe you are right about temples. Temples are the worst. Yeah, if I get 750 without Ankh, I'm actually going to be so salty about this run. Yeah, that was super close. It's a bad night to play. I'm playing super slumped right now. Give me a, I do give a lot of respect to temples. It's just that I didn't give a lot of respect to that temple. Because it was fine for a bit until it fell apart. Albeit it was because of me, 100% because of me. But it was almost smooth. If you don't think about the end. Traps, whole lot of nothing for me. It's a path in temple. Trap poison. Yeah, the less you dwell in temple, I guess, the less likely you are to get poisoned. It's kind of a good point. It's one of your face blasters at the exit you're talking about. Face melters. Look at that arrow trap. I don't think it triggers though. It's gonna trigger on you. 
dumbass. Temple new dwelling? <laughs> well, no, I'm like I'm using dwelling as like a verb, you know, English and whatnot. Dwelling on the temple. It's your English lesson for the day. Probably should have used a better word. Too fast. Yeah, I think you're forgetting that I'm the world's slowest player, and if you see me going fast, it's a accident. <laughs> How'd I get back here? I don't want to go down there again. Try to be cool. Didn't work. Oh, nice catch me. Did I find the exit? I straight up don't remember. Oh, doesn't matter. Bottom. Even if I did, I'm gonna find it again because I don't remember. Oh, top left. Yeah, that's how I feel. There's no best way. Like, Sync... <laughs> Sync's a good example. He's got two 99s. He literally has a 204. And like a 245 for his first two. My first one was literally like a 3 hour, 45 minute 99. Like, it was slow. And like, I felt like I was playing like optimal for me. Like, I don't see myself getting into like, Basio rounds. Like, I honestly don't even ever see myself getting a Solaritus. Top left. Yeah, you guys are speed demons. I need to catch uh, Sync streaming a good run. So I've only ever seen him die early from something stupid like that uh like that crazy UFO yesterday F that was so sad to watch It's also probably a pretty big byproduct of the fact I only take Vladscape usually. For the daily at least. Adventure runs will occasionally go for like jetpack, compass. But if I want to get far, I'll only ever take Vladscape. Ooh, okay. Stupid. No more stupid from me. What am I doing? Oh. That was almost my fall damage death again. On, it, you died on 96 on a Solaridus run? That's so sad. When was that? Okay. 
That's... Oh, I actually remember seeing you get that. I don't think I knew you at that time, but I made a joke in the chat saying that's effed up. I got all the boys rolling. Because I saw you die on 96. I was the funny guy that day. Left side. Yeah, I'm a comedian, right? But honestly, I would be super content if I can even get like sub three hour at some point. Like, I'm literally just playing to win, not for time at all. That's uh, my current struggle. Because I just want another win. And I don't want my game to crash next time that happens. Something for the journal. 3.30? Oh, really? Maybe, maybe there is hope, then. Yeah, I was shaking. <laughs> oh, don't get me up. <laughs> okay, what you gonna do about that? I'm gonna blow that up so I don't have to go in the void. Oh, it's not last. I think I just got my senses scared out of me. That's last. I think I can just climb back up, yeah. It's coming from downtown. Yeah, I got snipes. That was an unlucky time in a place of bomb too. I thought it was gonna get launched somewhere. That kind of reminds me of one death I had. I uh, I was on a temple, and there was a sorceress on the exit, so I was trying to drop a bomb down there, but I accidentally dropped the bomb on the bat that it spawned. So the bat started coming for me with the bomb attached. I didn't realize that whipping it would attach the bomb to me. So uh, I bombed myself. It knocked me, th I think it was like through the loop or something. Cause either way I like landed right next to the jelly and the sorceress finished me off by shooting me into the jelly. It was a nutty one. Yeah, man, can't make it up. But no, it was funny. I think that was my favorite death so far. I'm gaming, monkey. I'm getting good distance on a run that I don't have Bianca. That's what I was saying, if I get 750, I'm going to be pissed. Because that's like how I pace myself for a 99. I just want to get the Yonk to 750. And I'm start feeling comfy. Just the bear from... That's my space heater. I know it's annoying, but I don't know how to... <laughs> how to change the setting so it doesn't pick up on it. Can't type, it's late. It's fine if you can't talk anymore, uh, thanks for uh, talking. Keep me company through this. Yeah, it's in my YouTube videos too, and it's bad. I need to do something to get rid of it. It's a uh, cold season, so I gotta keep it running though.
What? That was stupid. <laughs> I kind of just tried to put it in the void. I shouldn't have done that either, but everything just went wrong. Alright, left void. I know there's an arrow in the loop, but I'm gonna ignore it when I hit the last orb. Oh, come on, just get me out. You're bombed. Die to an arrow in the void, don't feel bad. Oh, okay. So saying spelling isn't working. <laughs> nah, it's fine. I'll show you get the picture. I have half a brain, so you'll be speaking in my language. Let's just blow up the side. Oh, no, no, no. Like, I don't even know why I didn't even think about that skeleton coming to life. It's just sticky with the bomb. I have plenty. beyond thinking at this point, so. Alright, right void. Just no thinking, just raw gameplay. Raw gameplay. Take the power pack and do a flex low low type. See ya. Ah. 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 Huh. Not cool. I've been overdue. But you know what? I got the number one tool for survival. Vlad's cape. Chad's cape. And a whole lot of Aggie boys. So, I'll deal. Let's make bad decisions. Oh. I'm gonna go back up. I'll use a rope to do that. Wait, this level's tiny. Look at this little baby Neo Babylon. Still gonna bomb. Yeah, I'll be fine, at least for a decent while. Kind of do what I can to save HP and not take stupid hits. I go. Ah. 
did everything I can to not let that shaft fall in the void, and I just drop it in there. So congested. Oh, I'm lazy. No arrow traps. I trolled with that arrow shaft, that was so stupid. That's a weird way. Kinda. I do pick it up, even though I tell myself I'm not going to. Like, I do just want to play the same, even when I get poison, but that never ends up being the case. for the better though. Just maybe get to 750 real quick and not feel guilty about losing Ankh. Because odds are I'd probably end up at 760 on a normal run for me regardless around that area. That ballpark. Either way, we just keep moving forward, like Aaron Yeager told us. I should start, like, actually scouting instead of running around aimlessly now. the exit naturally. Spikes, Mr. Mole, please. Get out of here. Can play the safe. I don't like that T 
Tiki Trap. Plus web combo by the exit, so. We blowing it up. This guy's probably just gonna blow up in the void. Let's send him. Oh. Saved. I'm not afraid of you. You're fine there. kind of want to die on like a temple so I don't have to feel the embarrassment of dying to poison on like some stupid other level have people point and laugh at me and be like haha burnt jam died on a dwelling there's no way die like a real man get crushed by a womp just not die to poison and actually blood farm because I haven't really been doing that it's the true way to go out it's the only way to go out guy I told myself I was gonna blood farm so let's actually do that instead of accepting my death like a coward Sorry, F. That's a dirty start, actually. It's not really as bad as a thwomp above your head, but... Up there. At least I take that over instant death. Oh yeah, F. Have you ever spawned next to a witch doctor and had it stun you? Because that happened to me before. And then I saw somebody post it and um the bug reports, and apparently that's like an actual bug. Like, I thought it was unfair, but I thought it was kind of just like, level generation. Spelunky at its finest. Missed them, damn it. Damn. 
Sorry if that was loud. That was a bad snake. That's one. Two, three. Nice. Oh god. I didn't see... I thought this green platform was background, so I thought I was about to get hit by that arrow drop. I'm being a goober right now. Yeah, I need to like fix my natural reaction to Witch Doctor stuns. Instead of like hitting them, I always just look for a corner to hide in instead. And if I can't find one, I'm just dead. It's not really the best way to. Oh. You deserve that. It's not really the best way to go out, though. True. I just hate carrying items. I know it's so good, but... Actually, nah. I'll usually take a freeze ray when I see one. If I'm in a mood. I used to take it all the time when I was uh, starting CO, but I just got too into the whip. Eggplant runs are my favorite though. It's the best of both worlds. Boomerang for HP. True. That is a good point. Just. Okay, he's taken care of. Yeah, like that. Oh, not like that. Let's lose all the HP I just gained. Can I seriously not find third orb in this jungle for babies? Oh man. Is it really right there? Sounds super, super good. Easy way to take care of that dude, too. Also, we're at 750. I'm not happy. <laughs> it could have been the run. Underneath. That's the path I'm taking. Ooh, I hate you. I hate that. A boomerang can. Boomerang deals with void items. Huh. 
I'm blessed to have the boomerang this floor, I guess. Look at that. It's the American Sniper. A lot of bad spike ball traps. Aw. Okay, I don't remember where the exit is. Left side, right? Ooh, thank you for the follow. One second, whoever you are. Yeah, left side. I'm gonna die soon, maybe. Who knows? Could get a temple. Oh, jeez. Oh god, there's a platform right there. It's behind the asteroid. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Mr. Quirk. <laughs> Hi, Jack. Thank you for tuning into my twitch.com live stream. Twitch.tv. Yeah, sad day for the boomerang. It's a bad day to be a boomerang. We are on 7-52 of the cosmic ocean. I'm actually having a pretty good run. So you're gonna be on YouTube. Isn't that neat? I shouldn't take free damage like that. I should deal with that by whipping them. How about this mosquito? Is that gonna fall on me? No. Uh, I think I'm best coming from right side. Does that damage him if you drop him on him? He's stunned. Triggers the crocodile. Don't do it, please. Alright, come down here with me. Oh, wait. Oh. Nice. Um. Good job, me. I want to find a mummy, if that's possible. I also want to survive the floor, so... Pick one. We're gonna survive the floor. Probably not one here anyway. If I didn't trigger that crocodile, I would have gone for it, but search a little bit more. Oh, that's one. <laughs> Alright, we got boomerang back. It's uh, a one-third chance. I didn't know that, actually. I thought it was just if a, the game decides to give you a mummy. I don't know how mob spawn works, really. Hey, Kimmy.
I always figured it was like, you have a roll of an enemy spawning, then you have a roll if it's this enemy, blah blah blah. Three variants. Does he have a boomerang? No. It's probably easier if I do this. I think I'm gonna die. I hate to say it, but I think I'm gonna die. Unless... brain keeps forgetting where I put the exit. Mummy? Any mummies? It's by the entrance chunk, he said, right? So that's a no, right? Yeah. Not cool. Why'd I do that? Lame F. This game is being lame. It's giving me the loser level. I won't even give me a mummy to go with it. Go oh, goodbye, boomerang. Another one bites the dust. <laughs> Please. 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 So you're telling me no mummies? Help me. We're blowing up everything. Can you get up there? Yeah. No! I was gonna throw it at the... Why am I even bombing it at this point? I'm poisoned. Dumb surprises, prizes, blah blah. At least that was a really easy exit. Is that a skull? Oh no, it's a penguin. You're coming with me. Shit, it's coming. See, I don't like to carry items F, but for some reason I always pick up a landmine no matter how many bombs I have. I have no clue why. It's a good thrown item, I guess. I wasted my double jump. Oh. Let's do this one fast, because why not? Actually, 
Actually, let's not do that, because they'll probably just land on top of me. Now I'm a speed gamer. 12 seconds, who thought Burn Champ could do that? Not Burn Champ. Yeah, if it's convenient for me. Dude, give me a mummy. Holy crap. Hello. I'm desperate. That that's how desperate I am. <laughs> that was so chaotic. This is so horrible. I am gonna die to poison. I still don't want to hit it though. Come on, show me the exit. Lobsters, any lobsters? I already forgot where the exit is. No. I'm 
dead as heck. That's not last. You gotta be Josh and me. HP. <gasps> Stupid me. Face blaster taken care of. Gonna bomb that. Easy. Actually, don't matter at all. Okay. Gimme, 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 gimme. Blessed sunken city. Dude, just get me the funny number, you're right. I can't give up now. Alligator on the board. There's a snake on the board. The snake's not on my team. None of them are, are they? Killed the locust. Fountain of blood. You're going down. You're uh, bad. You're bad. You're bad. GG. GG, GG, oh GG, <laughs> no, trash. Funny number doable. Funny number doable. Funny number doable, come on, please. Oh uh, no! <laughs> I almost got the funny number. I was panicking too much at the end. I really wanted to get there before the exit. Shit. I couldn't get the 69, I'm sorry, F. Almost the funny number. That was a pretty good run, though, for Noonk. If I didn't lose it earlier, that probably could have been a... a, a dub. Yeah, if you want to do the daily next, I'll probably tune in, too. Let me, let me follow you guys back. Yeah, Jack, uh, poison is pretty much a death sentence in this game. 
Oh, wait, I added you as a friend. How do I follow you? Shit. Yeah, so pretty much every 30 seconds, you gotta take a poison. There's an item, the Kapala, that lets you heal yourself from, like, blood of enemies. But it's really just hard to out heal. And usually, in, like, the main game, you are able to bring the damsel, which is like the dog or whatever that you see me bring in, to the exit. But once you get to Cosmic Ocean, there's no damsels. So once you get poisoned, you just poison for the rest of the run. So, I died to poison. Because I couldn't out heal it. I was hoping for a mummy in temples because uh, they shoot a thing that like drops blood, kind of dribbles blood underneath. And you can like sit underneath it or uh, use a body to like absorb the locust it shoots and just heal from the blood. But I went through like five temples in a row and it's like a one in three chance of getting it. I didn't get it, so it's kind of unlucky. Like it's seated, so nobody's going to get it, but it just wasn't there, which stinks. But that was honestly a pretty good run. I'm pretty happy with it. Still kind of bummed if I had Ankh, I could probably get the 99 this run, but... Eh, always next time. Oops. Alright, I'm gonna end the stream though, once I see my score finally go through. Thanks for tuning in, guys. And I appreciate all the follows, too. It was super duper nice of y'all. Yeah, I could have boomeranged. I kept, yeah, I kept losing my boomerang, like, at the end of every level. Yeah, good thing I had Vlad's cape. That probably honestly got me going, like, an extra, like, 15 plus levels. Shout out to Vlad's cape. Flex got a 99 yesterday, that's cool. Oh. Are you serious? Is Flex just getting 99s every daily now? What a beast. Oh, my score's up. It's cool. That is a lot of ninjas on the front page. I've never seen it like that. And of course, our boy Sink. Alright. Thanks for coming, guys. I'm ending stream. Bye bye.